Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I took apart my Braun uh, electric toothbrush, disassembled it. It was quite a pain to get it apart. Uh, this is a, uh, it has a, an internal battery, uh, a motor that acts uh, to pulse the uh, the bristles, the brush, and a wireless charging circuit. Now the wireless charging circuit uh, is relatively simple. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in just a second relative to where I'm measuring, but we're going to measure the short circuit current between the transmitter coil and the receiver coil. And what I've done is I've soldered two wires on here uh, just to simulate uh, uh, so that I can simulate a short circuit current with my multimeter. So I'm going to show you the very basic circuit, uh, almost a block diagram of where I'm measuring before we actually connect it to a multimeter and test it on our uh, transmitter coil. This is the bare bones of the receiver. There's actually two capacitors, but I'm just using this as kind of a block diagram-ish type thing. Uh, this is our receiver coil. When it's exposed to the transmitter coil, we get an AC, an AC uh, voltage here. And what this diode does is it acts to filter out the negative portion of that AC signal. And uh, there's two capacitors here, a decoupling capacitor and a, uh, a smoothing capacitor. And that acts to turn that ripple, that positive ripple, into DC. Now, there's such small capacitors that there's still a little bit of ripple, but the system can handle it. Uh, in any case, what I've done is I've removed the battery from the equation because I can't take my measurement properly with the battery connected. So I've cut the battery out of the equation. And what I wanted to do is set my multimeter to read the short circuit current when the toothbrush sits in the transmitter. Uh, and so what I did was I connected the negative from my digital multimeter, DMM, to the common ground line of the circuit. And I've connected the positive uh, from my multimeter to the uh, rectified line, directly to the output of the diode and uh, positive end of the capacitor. And uh, what I've called this line is VBAT, or V battery. So that's, uh, that acts to both charge the battery, uh, and this line will actually power the microcontroller and uh, the motor driving circuit, the motor that uh, powers the bristles. Uh, in any case, so I'm going to hook that up right now. I'm going to show you, uh, set my DMM for current measurement, and I'm going to sit the transmitter, sorry, the receiver coil in the transmitter coil, and we'll see how much, uh, how much current we can pull. Uh, now again, this is a short circuit current test, which means that essentially all the power here is running through the DMM to ground. And the DMM in current mode is acting as a short circuit. It's it's basically the, the the voltage line sees a dead short from here to ground, and the multimeter reads how much current is actually being pulled when we sit the receiver down into the transmitter. So this voltage V bat will drop to close to zero volts, and we'll 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 see. I'm not sure exactly how much uh, current we're going to see. I don't expect it to be a lot, but uh, let's have a look. I've got my multimeter set for milliamps DC, and uh, I can read up to 400 milliamps in the specific mode. The multimeter itself can handle up to 10 amps as long as you have it configured properly. I've got my transmitter plugged in, my receiver's right here, I've got my positive connected to the rectified, the halfway rectified circuit, and my negative connected to the common ground of the receiver. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick this up, hopefully my connections don't break, I'm going to connect the... Receiver, as you see, the closer I get to the to the transmitter, the more current is being drawn, and the maximum is roughly 110 milliamps. So I'm going to remove this so I don't lose my connection. So roughly 110 milliamps. To reverse engineer the circuit is very very easy. Some of these toothbrushes have uh, a center tap on the receiver coil. This specific one doesn't. It just has the uh, uh, two coils. One goes to the negative, one goes to the uh, rectification and filtering section, and I'm essentially causing the short circuit, as explained before, to, to pull as, as much as I possibly can from the uh, from the transmitter. Now, needless to say, this uh, toothbrush is toast. I've uh, disconnected the battery. I could reconnect it, but I've got no interest. Uh, I've, d I've damaged the bristle side of this, so right now it's just a toy, uh, a learning tool. What I could do is I could cut off 
if I had a Dremel tool and I was very careful, I could potentially cut off half the board. That includes a microcontroller and the 8-pin FET IC that drives the, the motor that drives the uh, bristles. But really, I've got no need for that. So I could potentially cut that circuit off, make sure there's no shorts, and use this specific receiver with this specific transmitter to power something uh, very small, like a... Uh, um, a few LEDs or uh, perhaps a low power motor or I could use it to charge a few AA batteries in series or a single AA battery as long as there's charge circuitry but I just wanted to see how much I could pull off this uh, unfortunately I can't get into the transmitter it looks like it's sealed somehow uh, there's no area for uh, to remove screws I could probably get into it with a hammer that would bring me back to my childhood days but I'm not going to I'm still gonna I'm gonna keep this transmitter intact and perhaps use the circuit a little bit later on. But right now, as a learning tool, uh, I just wanted to uh, share it with you in case you wanted to pull one of your own apart. There are a whole bunch of different uh, wireless charging toothbrushes out there, many made by Braun. The specific one is a Braun. It is a newer model. Certainly was not easy to get into it, but I sooner or later I managed to pull the circuitry out. And yeah, so uh, hopefully you found this video useful in case you want to uh, do the same with your old toothbrush. Uh, just be careful to disconnect the battery before you take your measurement as uh, if you have the battery in here and you have the same configuration that I have right here, what you'll do is you'll pull short circuit from the battery. Now these rechargeable batteries have uh, relatively high ESR internal uh, resistance which will limit how much current it can source at a time, but again, uh, if you don't have your multimeter configured for a higher current, you can burn a fuse. So I've been tinkering a lot more recently with wireless power transfer. I've got a few uh, PCBs on the way can't wait to experiment with them. Uh, I've made a customization PCB that for a transmitter that will allow for me to really tinker and come up with many uh, interesting new ways of uh, transferring power from A to B. Unfortunately, since I can't get into the transmitter, I can't see how efficient the circuit is. I was hoping it would pull a little bit more than uh, 100 milliamps, but you know the, the gauge of the wire on the receiver is very, very, very thin. The diameter, uh, I, can't, I haven't determined how many, uh, how many windings there are. But I didn't expect to get a ton of power. I expected a little bit more than 100 milliamps, but what can you do? Uh, I'm working on some uh, higher power, uh, more efficient power transfer circuits. Hopefully you'll check those down, uh, check my channel out down the road if you haven't already subscribed because I'm really looking forward to showing those kits off to you. Anyhow, I hope you're having a great day and uh, thanks for watching, guys.